Hi guys, how you doing? I hope you guys are doing good because I'm doing amazing. I'm doing fly, okay? <laughs> As you guys can see. So if you are in your early 20s or you are in your late teens, maybe you're 18, 19, 20 and you're watching this video, Take this video as a public service announcement, okay? Mark this video as very important because I'm going to be very honest as usual. I'm going to be telling you things that I really, really do regret doing in my 20s, especially my early 20s, okay? Yes, the first thing I actually regret doing in my 20s, especially my early 20s, is overeating, okay? Eating too much, letting myself get this big, letting myself add so much weight even though i didn't add that much weight in my 20s like most of my weight now i didn't add it in my early 20s so when i started having kids i started putting on all the weight but some of the practices that i already had before i started getting pregnant I had already formed the habits of them and they now started to affect me for real. You know when you're in your early 20s, actually your late teens, your early 20s, your metabolism is still very fast, you're still, you know, looking pink. You can still eat like a horse and still be slim. Even though at that time, oh, I did not believe that I was slim. I thought I was very fat, not knowing that. Hey, <laughs> looking back now, but anyway, story for another day. But yeah, like, even though I wasn't that big then, some of the habits I had formed then, actually affected me it was very difficult to break them okay overeating is one of them eating unhealthy is another one like it, it's bad it's really really bad so if you're young you're still slim your metabolism is still fast yeah it's easy for you to lose weight like you can just start for two days and you lose 10 kg kudos to you okay enjoy it while it lasts because it is not going to last forever and if you're someone like me who is on the who has that tendency some people naturally are genetically on the slimmer side okay People like me, we have tendency to get fat. I'm not saying that I'm fat because of genetics. So I'm saying that the tendency was always there. I now contributed to it, okay? So yeah, I'm one of those people that actually take responsibility for being fat, okay? I'm not going to come here and tell you, oh, I, don't, I hardly eat, though. I hardly eat, but I'm fat. It's a lie. It's a lie, okay? People that say, I, I hardly eat. I, don't, I just eat once a day, but I'm still fat. Check what they are eating, okay? Check what they eat in between that they don't count as meals. Check what they eat in the middle of the night that they don't count as... It's not food. I've not eaten today, but in the morning, you ate plantain chips. In the afternoon, you ate potato chips. In the, in the mid-afternoon, you ate chocolate. You ate, <laughs> you ate different things, okay? Anyway, all this to say that... If you can, it is easier for you to form healthy habits when you are younger and then carry them into your, you know, your 30s, your 40s, when your metabolism slows down, when, you know, life happens to you, when you start having kids. It's easy to carry those habits into that time of your life if you start them early, okay? It's very difficult to actually, you know, learn some habits in old age. It's like learning how to use your left hand in old age, like there's an Igbo adage like that, okay? So yeah please take it from me if they're always telling you ah you eat a lot how come you're still slim and you're feeling cool with yourself you're like <laughs> my dear it's a trap okay it is a trap even though i can't really relate to it i've never been slim like i always say it is a trap oh hmm. they're always telling you oh you're so slim you're so slim because i have seen people who we used to think that they can never ever add weight and right now they are struggling they are struggling to even look normal not talk of you know losing weight okay so Take this from me, okay? Now, the number two thing is actually kind of related to the number one thing. It is not exercising. Again, the same principles, you know, um, follow. If in your 20s, in your early 20s, in your late teens, when you don't even have responsibilities, all you have to do is just wake up, take care of yourself. Some of you, your parents are sponsoring your whole life. Or even though you are the one sponsoring your life, you just have a regular job and that's it. When you get back home, some of you are even living alone. You don't have anybody, you know, that is looking up to you. If you decide not to eat, they will not, nobody's going to question you. If you decide to work out, you know, for two hours in the evening, you're not not on anything you're not there's nobody to take care of you know at that time so you have a lot of freedom don't take it don't take it for granted okay trust me when i say this if you are single okay and you know you don't really have that many responsibilities at least you don't have as much responsibilities as someone who is married with, especially someone who is married with kids okay Oh, I'm talking so fast. Yeah. So if you don't have as many responsibilities as someone who is married or married with kids, and you know that in the nearest future, kids and a husband or kids and a wife are in your future, better start now to work out. Work out now. Make it a habit now. Form that habit now. Even if you don't need it because everybody needs it. But even if you don't need it because, oh, you're still slim, you're still, you know, you still, you still look um, healthy, you know, in quotes, you still look healthy. Even though that's how you look, 
still incorporate working out into your life. It is easier, again, like I said before, to carry these habits from your late teens, your early 20s, even from your teenage years, not even late teens, from your teenage years, it's easier to carry that habit. If you form, like, if you form, if you form a real habit of it, it's easier to carry it into your late 20s and your early um, 30s or your 40s, okay? Trust me on that. Now, the third one is skincare. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm one of those people who fell into the trap of, oh, you have lovely skin. What are you rubbing? And I'll be like, <laughs> I don't even rub cream. I don't even, I just use Vaseline on my leg. I just rub olive oil on my leg so that my leg will not be white. But I don't even rub cream. I don't even use any special soap. I just use any soap I see in the house. I just use normal antiseptic soap. And my skin is glowing like this. And everybody's like, wow, 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 wow. Your head too is big in. Hey, <laughs> my dear brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, my sisters, it is a trap. Don't fall for it, okay? Even if your skin is like the sun when you are in your late, te <laughs> late teens and your early 20s, even if your skin is like the sun, it is glowing like the sun, it is spotless like a baby's bum bum, please start that time to start doing your skincare, okay? Because when you wake up and your skin changes, you are going to be shocked. You are going to be asking yourself what happened again in your hair. You are going to be, <laughs> you are going to be shocked because as you enter into your late 20s, your early 30s, your 40s, your skin is going to change, okay? Some people are blessed gen genetically, okay? So they have what we'll term as good skin. So for a longer time, their skin remains good. But trust me, your skin is subject to change because especially as a woman, so many things are going to happen to you. Hormonal issues, childbirth, um, so many different issues, stress, you know, more responsibilities, lack of time, you know, environmental, environmental, I said environmental, okay, Ibo girl, sorry, yo. environmental pollution, so many things are going to affect your skin, okay, so again, it's still that habit thing, but aside, aside habits, you know, taking care of your skin early is going to help to prevent some things that might actually happen to you later on in life, okay? One of those things that I wish I had tackled earlier on was my pores, okay, because I have oily skin, which is actually good skin as far as I'm concerned, okay? Every skin is good skin. It's just knowing how to manage your skin, right? Knowing the right products for your skin. So for me, I know that I have good skin, okay? But again, what comes with, in fact, learn your skin. Learn, learn, know about your skin type, okay? Because one thing that is, you know, that happens a lot of times with people that have oily skin is that they tend to have large pores okay they tend to have large pores you know they are more prone to breakouts um someone like me I, my breakouts have reduced because I'm, i've kept them under control i used to have more breakouts before than now but i've kept them under control scarring and stuff like that hyperpigmentation and all those things not using sunscreen hey 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 when you are younger, no matter what your age, please just start using sunscreen, okay? Recently, I had to start buying like proper skincare for my girls, that's Amaretta and Elizabeth, because you know how I, I didn't want to, I didn't want them to make the same mistake that me I made, because when I was their age, I didn't really care about which one was sunscreen. I didn't even know what sunscreen was. Like I knew what sunscreen was, but I didn't really care about it. I just felt it was an oibo thing, okay? So I don't want them to make th that same mistake. That's why I started buying them, you know, like face wash, you know, moisturizer and sunscreen. Okay. For now, those are the basics that they have. Okay. Um, yeah. So I just went, I don't even know what I'm talking about now. Okay. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is that learn your skin type. Okay. Even if your skin is very good, still learn your skin type and know the appropriate products to use for your skin type even if you don't have skin issues, okay? Because, uh, yes, I remember what I was trying to say. What led to my large pores was me always overly stripping my skin. Because I had oily skin, I felt like, oh, I had to wash my skin so much to remove the oil from my skin. So I was using so many harsh soaps. I was also using toner. There's one toner that, let me not even call the name, so I won't demarket them, okay? Because maybe it works for somebody. All these astringent anstri or astringent, so whatever they are, you know, they will say, oh, use this toner on cotton pad, use it and then wipe your face. Especially, not even toners. These ones are like, they call them astringents. Okay, there's one that was blue. I don't even know the name of the brand, but I always use them because every time I use it, like my skin will now feel clean, squeaky clean. I did not know that I was overstripping my face and then my face was now even producing more oil and my pores were now getting larger and larger okay so yeah don't make that mistake um if you have dry skin so some things that you will do to your skin that will actually make them worse for you in the future so start early if you're in your 20s start early or in your late teens 
or even even as a teenager okay because for me because i know what i know now i'm going to start my kids on skincare early okay even as their babies now i don't just use anything for them i'm very careful about what i use on their skin and you know the body creams and stuff like that okay always rub body cream i don't care whether your skin is is oil <laughs> your skin if you press your skin like this oil will come out i do not care if that's how your skin is make sure you use body cream i was one of those people that used to say i don't use body cream i don't use body cream and truly i wasn't using body creams because they used to make me feel hot okay so after having my bath and drying up i won't rub body cream highest thing i'll do is oh my feet is looking white i'll now carry vaseline and rub on my feet or olive oil sometimes hair cream hey <laughs> hair cream i'll carry hair cream and rub on my feet so my face will not look white okay so at that time i noticed that my skin was okay people were like oh you have nice skin you have nice skin coupled with the fact that i was younger and all of that okay but as i started growing older Okay, at some points then, I started rubbing cream, right? I used to rub one cream then, I think it's clear essence. My mom used to buy it for me then, okay? So, I used to rub cream then, no? but because I started feeling hot and stuff like that, I started adding weight, so I started feeling hot, I now stopped rubbing the cream. And when I stopped rubbing the cream, I felt like the cream wasn't doing anything for me. Like, I mean, what's the point of rubbing cream? It wasn't even doing anything for me, so I just stopped rubbing the cream. Um, uh, until one day, I woke up and started seeing that I started developing what they call chicken skin, okay? Uh, one capillaries, one thing, one thing. That strawberry skin, skin, where it looks like, especially when you shave your legs, like, it looks like your pores are black. You just have black, 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 black pores. I started having it. It's not as bad as many people's own because my skin is not, I don't really have dry skin. Even though my feet is kind of dry, I have dry skin on my feet. Yeah, that one, my father self has dry skin. My father's people like that, okay? Anyway, so, uh, what was I trying to say? Yeah, so because... When I started seeing that, ah, my skin started looking uneven, but even when I started noticing that my skin was changing, I was still stubborn, though. I was still doing anyhow, I was still not rubbing cream, rubbing anything on my body. It was now recently that I just told myself, you know what, let me just try and be more dedicated with rubbing cream because the skin now started looking really bad. Like my skin wasn't as smooth as it used to be. It wasn't as even because me, eh, I don't care about light skin or dark skin or chocolate skin or whatever skin. All I care about is evenness, okay? As long as I'm the same color from head to toe. Even if that same color is black as charcoal or that same color is white as snow, I don't care, okay? I'm not one of those people that, oh, looking fairer makes you look beautiful. No, a fine girl is a fine girl, no matter the, the skin tone, okay? That's on period, okay? Points, points blank period. A fine girl is a fine girl. Yeah, so um, I just started rubbing cream recently and let me tell you there is a huge difference okay so i don't just use cream alone i always use cream and an oil afterwards so i rub cream i rub oil afterwards maybe i'll do a dedicated skincare video okay but i always rub cream and rub oil afterwards what i started doing to help my situation is i stand in front of the fan when i'm rubbing the cream okay i started doing my skincare as well but i'm talking about body care now because many people actually neglect body care i started doing it in front of the fan so when fans on me i'll rub you know my cream and then i'll rub oil on my body yes anyway the next one is supplements i wish i started taking supplements early okay now granted i think i'm even better because at least i knew about supplements a little bit earlier in my 20s simply because i was trying to get pregnant at that time so i was taking different kind of supplements not even to aid pregnancy but to prepare my body for pregnancy okay like not fertility supplements now okay i was taking supplements to just prepare my body for pregnancy folic acid well woman at some point i'm now beginning to get into taking my supplements more religiously even though i still fall off okay but i'm trying now trying you know it's still a trying stage but i'm trying now to take my supplements more religiously okay aside you know the benefits for your skin your hair aside even for the sake of vanity okay because i know that most of us will take it for vanity sake ah it helps your skin everybody will run and get it for skin but if they say it helps your blood circulation one thing one thing you might be like whatever <laughs> You know, tell you it helps with your kidney support, whatever. You'll be like, whatever. But once they say, ah, it helps us to have long nails and long hair, yeah, everybody will run and start buying it, okay? But yeah, aside taking supplements because of the outward improvements in skin and, you know, hair and all of that, please take your supplements to help you function better okay because as you grow older some of your sup some of your nutrients get depleted and you now require more nutrients okay and most of our meals don't actually have you know enough enough all those daily required you know amounts 
as you grow older a lot of our meals do not have the daily required amount of supplements so if you can get i mean of nutrients so if you can get all those supplements that are maybe like one pill a day all those well woman anyway you guys know all those supplements just get one and start taking it okay then you can take some extras like this evening primrose oil but mainly i think some well woman come with evening primrose oil either well woman or pregnant care one of them comes with evening primrose oil so you can either take that or you can buy the evening primrose oil separately you can also buy cows um yeah cal no not calcium um vitamin c yes because many of them don't have that 1000 milligrams of vitamin c so you can buy vitamin c 1000 and add okay now the next thing i regret not doing then is reading more okay so in my late teens, I think I used to read then, but once I entered my early 20s, once I finished school, I wasn't reading, okay? I wasn't reading, you know, with the emergence of social media and stuff like that, I wasn't reading. And right now, I don't even have the time or the energy or the willpower <laughs> to read any book, okay? I have so many books that I have bought. Oh yeah, sit down and read it now. I've not read them. I don't know. Like, I feel like it is a habit that I've never been a reading type anyway. It's not like I've even in school that I read English. I studied English. Show. There are some books that we wrote an exam on that I didn't actually read, even though I still passed. I had my way around it, okay? But I had books that I we were supposed to read, I didn't read them. Okay, so I've never been the reading type. I'm more of a visual learner, I think, or an audio learner. I don't know. I think so. As if, I don't know what I am, sure, but I prefer to just listen. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so but right now I wish I read I was an avid reader then because you know reading opens your mind Reading generally helps with your worldview, right? And especially if you read far and wide you read all kinds of things I won't really say I'm lacking so much in that aspect because I still do Again, like I said, I'm someone that likes to listen a lot. So I'm also a very curious person. Okay, so I still watch a lot of videos that help me gain more knowledge about everything and anything. Okay, but I wish I had the patience to actually sit down and read some books. Okay, because you actually get more knowledge when you read a book, you know, when you sit down and actually read the book. And then when I didn't really have children, I didn't really have much I was doing with myself. I should have read them. But no, I did not read. It's now and I'm trying to read. Once I open one page, is that I am dozing off because i'm reading too late or someone is distracting me or i have work to do okay so i really really wish that i read more then and i wish that i had kept up with that um you know habit okay so basically i think in summary all i'm trying to say in this video is learn good habits okay and um, what they call it inculcate good habits earlier and it will be easier for you to continue with them when you're in your 30s when you have more responsibilities or when you're in your 40s okay that's basically the the summary of this whole video and i remember something okay before i end this video i remember having this i was not well, i'm quite an argument i had this discussion with some people and i was talking about how when people say things like oh when you're younger and make sure you you play like make sure you have fun make sure you go to club make sure you do all those bad things okay bad things in quotes like you know going clubbing you know having boyfriend and girlfriend up and down you know hook up all those things you know all those clubbing smoking drinking all those things i hear people say oh when you're younger do all those things make all those mistakes have all those fun so that when you're older you won't be an old person trying to do them okay or you won't be old like in your 40s you won't be like an overgrown baby because some people that then their 40s and you know that that's when they're still trying to be going from club to club and you know hanging out and all of that okay now when i hear that thing somehow it makes sense when you hear it right but when you dig deeper and you guys know i like to dig deeper but when you dig deeper is there really substance to that i don't really think so okay because if i use myself as an example when I was younger, I didn't do much, okay? I did not do much. When I was even in school, I did not go to club. Like, when I was in school, imagine being in uni and not attending the club for once. Like, I never went clubbing. I never smoked. I never drank. People that tried weed. You know, some people then in school used to try weed, used to try drinking, used to try drugs. You know those things that people used to try? I was not interested. <laughs> I never did them. Nobody put a gun to my head not to do them. If I wanted to do them, I'd have done them. And my parents would not know because I lived in school. It's not like I was living at home and going, you know, to school from home. I lived in school. However, I did not have the zeal or the energy to try those things. I did not even try runs. I did not try, um, um, you know, partying. All those things that people used to do then. It didn't interest me, okay? And right now that I am older, 
I still not, I'm still not interested in death. <laughs> That's even the funny part. I'm not an outgoing person. I don't really have interest in going out. Okay, if you give me Chapman in a bar or whatever, I'm more than happy. The, the best I can do is cocktail. And I'm more than, I'm in fact satisfied. If I want to dance, I will still dance to the max. If I want to have fun, if I want to really enjoy myself, I will still enjoy myself to the max without even tasting alcohol, okay? Um, what else? I have no interest even now to smoke or to do shisha or to smoke weed or to try cigarettes i don't have interest in it even now okay what else um why doesn't it apply in my own case and i know some cases of people too like that like my sister too does not even have the interest my elder brother does not even have the interest i know people some people i know some cases okay maybe it's a family issue Sha, but i don't know but i know a lot of cases even i have some friends anyways not even just them i have some friends that i know that they didn't do those things when they were younger and right now they don't even have interest in doing them okay and on, on the other hand, I had friends who, when they were younger, they did all those things to the max, and even till now, they are still doing them. Even in their 40s, they will still do them, okay? So, it is not a matter of, oh, do make all the mistakes then, so that when you're in your 40s and 50s, you won't be making those mistakes. No, there's some mistakes that you cannot recover from if you're not careful. There's some mistakes that if you, if you make them, you are going to turn them into a habit, addiction. People that are addicted to drugs, and so it takes starts from, from just try it now, just try it now, ah, just try it, why you, do what your mates are doing, so that when you're older, you won't be old, no matter young, or you won't be too old, trying to try these things. Now, for, now from there, it takes starts. Some people are now addicts, some people are now drug dealers, some people are now alcoholics, some people are now addicted to casual sex, they cannot have any meaningful relationship with anybody, because when they were younger, they dabbled so much into these things, okay? So, maybe that's another advice for you guys, okay? So you don't need to try all those things, please. You don't need to try all those things. If it's not you, it is not you, okay? Don't force yourself to do them. Don't feel left out because you're not doing them. Don't feel less down because you're not doing them. Don't make anybody make you feel like you know you don't know what's up because i'm not doing them okay because anyway the good thing about me then was like again maybe it's because i have a healthy self-esteem or a healthy self sense of self-worth if it's something you want to do because you want to do it it's fine go ahead and do it okay but if it's something that you are naturally inclined to but you feel like you'll be left out like oh okay like things like you know being a, remaining a virgin some people actually go and get this virgin because they don't want to be left out they feel like something is wrong with them they feel like they don't know what's up i beg you that is the lie of the devil that is just you know humans human beings woman the way that's just the way other people People are trying to bring you down because they're not happy with themselves and, and they feel like they want you to be miserable with them okay so please if you're keeping yourself from marriage if you're keeping yourself from all those drugs and all those things and you don't want to do them please do not do them okay it doesn't make you less than it's not going to add any hair to your body neither is it going to remove any hair to your body for not doing them okay however on the flip side it can actually remove it can actually like cause you harm to actually double in some of those things okay do you get my points Okay, thank you. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you are in your 30s, the mistakes you made. You made. Oh, made. Okay, now. Nah. Anyway, let me know if you are in your 30s and there are mistakes that you made in your 20s and your late teens that you wish you hadn't made. Let me know them in the comment section and let me know if you can relate to any of the points that I mentioned. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.